help me welcome on stage Oscar Dahera. Woo! Oscar Dahera, English, the torture of the conquerors. <laughs> English, the torture of the conquerors, Oscar Dahera. When I was born, my mom thought to me in English. What a beautiful language to start your life with, even to learn to read. As a child, you'll go from zero to reading anything in two months. But who reads these days? Even back then, I watched movies. And as soon as I took the movie box and wanted to prove myself that I could read, I couldn't. Confused, I ran to my dad and said, what's going on? He just replied, <clears throat> the Americans have won the Cold War. They are now the ruling empire of this planet. <laughs> they have a different language called English. That movie is theirs. And you will have to learn it. I couldn't make any, any sense of that answer at that age. But I was thrilled, you know. I felt like in a science fiction movie, where aliens from a far away place in space come and take over the planet. And I thought English must be advanced and civilized. <laughs> That's a good smile, you know? You have gone through this pain as well. <laughs> it was a disaster. It was the torture of the conqueror. Where did the pain start? Reading, of course. In Spanish, we have this idea that letters encode sounds, and you put them together to pronounce the word. <laughs> that idea completely escaped the English. <laughs> In English, words are transparent. You don't see them. You have to see through them. Maybe you recognize what lies behind and know what to say. Yes? Yes. <laughs> How do you pronounce this? E. And if you follow with yes. Yes. Eyes. Eyes you will use to see, but not the words in English. <laughs> and this doesn't even count as a magic trick. I love my eyes. Eyes can be really, really awesome. Eyes can be really, really cool. Eyes is frozen water. <laughs> <laughs> when did I change the topic? Another magic trick. How do you pronounce this? <laughs> and if you follow with eyes, <laughs> juice. <laughs> juice. <laughs> This language is made to confuse. <laughs> I really felt, again in the movies, when the torturer comes with his whip and prepares a tricky question for you. If you get this right, I won't make you suffer. And you know you're doomed. Audience participation. Both. Both. <laughs> right? Because the torture will bend you like a bow oh. if you didn't bow in front of him. Oh. <laughs> but enough about the words. To do anything, you need the verbs. And I got the impression the English were under serious herbs by the way they use them. As an example, when you're sick in bed and cannot move, your nose 
will run until you improve. <laughs> and your feet, relegated, will challenge the nose and start to smell until you get well. <laughs> but against the cold, what better than sport? And English will help you the most. It is <coughs> a very athletic language indeed. That's why the Americans get so fat. <laughs> because in English, you can be running late. And then you have to jump to conclusions. <laughs> Worried what you have done, you swim in a sea of uncertainty. <laughs> and after all has gone wrong, you walk off the disappointment. Oh. I couldn't walk away. English is a must. And it's a torture. What can you do against? Nothing annoys the torturer the most if you can shout, Is that all you got? <laughs> <laughs> My fellow friends, there's a way out. And that way is through. Through. Tough. <laughs> no. Photo. Uh, <laughs> thought. Though. <laughs> Fear not to make a mistake in English. The language is already broken. <laughs> you can't make it worse. Learn to embrace it. Even show you can enjoy it. Hold the speech in English at your next Toastmasters meeting.